When you're considering bringing on a partner to help with your issues today, you've got to make sure that they're keeping an eye on the issues of tomorrow. Carrie Bailey from Menasha is joining us now, and that's exactly what he and his team do, especially when it comes to your supply chain. Carrie, it's always great to see you. Good morning. Good to see you. Dad. Thank you for being here on the broadcast. Absolutely. Hey, I want to talk about one aspect of supply chain that you and I have discussed a few times, and that's the packaging part. What are tomorrow's demands on suppliers going to look like when it comes to planning their packaging? Well, the best crystal ball I have is, uh, is looking at the change evolution that we have in supply chain. Uh, none of the manufacturers that we see operating in large-scale operations today were prepared really for tomorrow's supply chain. And Walmart talks about the supply chain of the future. Uh, and it doesn't matter where you look around the globe today, it's about delivery and speed to market. And the pressure that we see on the supply chain is causing new problems for manufacturers. They weren't organized for case disruption. And that's what's happening today in today's supply chain. And the speed of that is impacting their ability to be efficient in delivery. And of course, as packaging continues to evolve, promotion really ties right into that. So when you look down the pike of supply chain in the future, these new demands that are gonna be on the suppliers, how does that promotional piece also have to evolve? Well, I think what we're seeing today is the element of safety, the survival rate of a package, the survival rate of a display, how we put goods together in the packaging element that can modularly support promotion, okay? So the pressure in margin, the pressure in performance within the supply chain has really squeezed all of the optimal, okay, components out of the system. And so what we see today is how do things fit together? How does my primary package work with my online delivery element? How does my primary package work with display? How does my package work with case disruption, pick and pack operations? So we're taking a deeper look into the supply chain and the life of that package deeper than we've ever had before. So packaging and promotion, these seem like natural solutions that Menasha comes in and delivers to a supplier. As you're sitting down with your clients, what are some of the other things that you're looking futuristically at to kind of keep them aware of what's coming down the pike? I think when you look at Menasha, what we're finding is our role to those suppliers and the resources they need to support a better supply chain. Because as I mentioned before, the disruption to their current manufacturing process and case operation is creating new demands. And as we step up kind of as a supplier for hire, uh, our role in the what we do business is evolving more dramatically. So our ability to come in and take some of that disruption out of their streamlined operations and handle that disruption for them is becoming a key component. So you're finding as an organization what we're doing is we're helping in those pick and pack operations. We're helping in the better acquisition of resources of support, online delivery. We're designing for that delivery, okay? And we're creating packaging that's efficient and functional and can be promoted more easily for them outside of their regular line operations. Now I want to get your take on brand, this idea of the supplier's brand, because as supply chain continues to change and you're looking at it from beginning to end every day with your clients, how has this idea of the supplier's brand changed and what do you see in the future? Well, it's a scary proposition. Uh, it's one that I think we're having a, a very active dialogue with brands today. Um, it's a consumer and shopper's world today. It's their choice. It's how do you win heart share for the brands and really demonstrating trust and integrity. And so what we're seeing, um, the perception of a brand at the shopper level is created everywhere within their exposure and their line of sight. So how they see that package on shelf, how it's presented, how that package is delivered to them, whether they're in a pickup mode or whether it's door to door delivery. So how it's received, all of those things figure into that brand integrity component. And so we're talking more to our brand partners about what does the brand experience look like for the shopper? And it has a much wider lens to it today than it ever has before. And so you're seeing things like double-sided print packaging that when the shopper receives that item at the door, they have a brand experience that's more volatile, more experiential, and they get to feel the brand in that package when they receive it at their home. That's great information. Kerry, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast today. Great to be here, Jared. Thanks again.